adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. Oh, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Watch Me I stepped Sucker. into the lobby of oh. my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see. See if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. Can I talk now? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Watch Me Suck At. This is a story about my uncle. I'm Phoenix. I have no idea what this game's about. Zoom. Cool beans. This is really lovely looking. The less I know about Daddy's helmet, the better. Propine. I sell propine and propine accessories. Is that a what is that? There's a story about my uncle on a old Game Boy. Very nice. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. Yep, it's got up a ghost, the Grand Canyon. Some boat. Man has been around. Not been to England. I'm slightly offended. Doopy -doo. This doesn't look creepy at all. Fantastic Frederick's Disposal System. Starlight. I know there's a song, but I can't remember it. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times. But in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used smaller in size. Looks kind of like the Iron Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. Grappling hook. It's not exactly a secret door if it just opens because if anyone the comes past... The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used Safety for first. disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child. There's 0.03... It's barely out of alphabet. Oh. I do not like these noises. Oh, I'm alive. I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home.
Whoa. Oh, I guess I can't zoom anymore. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't Ooh. swim with this thing on. <laughs> Best be careful. Can I just run over that one? Come on, come on. Super jumps. Okay, now that's a super jump. I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? Oh, yeah. Wooden bridges don't exactly form naturally. I found a strange gizmo, some sort of measuring tool that Fred must have built. It seemed to be done measuring though, so I took the results to give to Fred. I guess I already collected it. We don't need to be making these kind of epic leap jumps, but bear the safe, I'm sorry. How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him, because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains, and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days, and all we ate was tube food, and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. I just wanted to say, Fred's a dick leaving all that litter around. Too far, too far, too far, too far, too far. Damn. Yup. Okay, no sprint jumping, just a regular jump this time. found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. Sweet. The grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Uh, oh, shit's moving. No, 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 damn it. 
Jump a carpet or what? Oh, right up here. The adventure suit was fantastic. By combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly long distances through the air at great speed. And it also allows me to slam into rocks at high speed as well, and completely negate any damage. And slingshot. Seriously, the way I'm slamming against these rocks, I'm so glad this is... Oh, no, 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 I don't have to go into that, do I? Okay, later. Just have to make this jump. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, you see. Crouching. 
forgot the space bar does normal jump. <laughs> I saw something over this way. Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Jelly chickens. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, we took some eggs back home, and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Vampire jelly Turns chickens. Out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Ah. Oh. Poor Fred. Really? I know. Frogs, eggs, and mosquitoes. He did find again, real frog good. eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special, but I don't know what happened to them. I've got to say, this game really is beautiful. It's not quite. Uh, Ethan Carter. Hmm. Disappearance of Ethan These Carter. These lights. Did Fred put them here, or was oh, somebody else again. here as well? 